What's going on everybody today with Exotic Day One Pets showing off baby doll today and uh, really don't post her often. Uh, we've had her for roughly about seven months now. Uh, she was hatched in October 2022. So she's not even a yearling yet. She's beautiful. She's a sun glow boa. Um, the pairing was, I believe I have the pairing card here again in a second. So the parent to her was a Roswell ladder tail het call to a super sun glow. So super sun glow would have been a uh, super hypo to a call albino. And um, from all of the other ones in her clutch that did have the RLT gene, RLT being Roswell ladder tail, I decided to go with her. Um, she was one of the spiciest ones out the clutch, sorry, out of her litter. And uh, the previous breeder did tell me that she was really spicy. And uh, we ended up telling him, nah, this is the one we want. And um, it's been a lot of work we've been through to get her to where she is now. Um, she was a little snapper from the get-go. Uh, she's chilled out a lot now. And I just wanted a chance to show her off to you guys. So, um, by saying that she's a sun glow, that means that she's a cow. There's different lines of albino that can make sun glow. So, the proper way to say it would be that she's a cow albino sun glow. Meaning that she has the cow albino gene along with the hypo. But, the cow albino is a recessive trait just like in ball pythons we have the albinos which are recessive we have multiple different genes like xanthix and a bunch of other genes so the cow albino is one of those recessive genes that both parents need to pass off in order for the babies to show a visual trait of it and she's our little pretty girl. We originally named her Pantera, which is Panther in Portuguese. And now we call her Baby Doll because it's been a process. We've literally had to baby her, treat her like a, treat her like a little brat doll, like a brat, truthfully. And um, the thing about boas is, is that you don't want to feed them as often like you do ball pythons when they're. In the young stages, such as baby doll right here, some people say every two weeks, some people say every week. I would suggest whichever one you feel more comfortable with. But this right here is the shape that you want your baby boa and or the adult boa to have. Very squared off. I don't know if y'all can see it. But you want your boa to have a very square shape because that shows that your boa is being, you're, it's well fed. You don't want them, just like ball pythons, you don't want them to have triangular shapes. Unlike ball pythons, you definitely do not want your boa all round. Um, they are more sensitive compared to ball pythons and can become overweight quicker than ball pythons. And once you get a boa overweight, from what I, from the research that I've done and that we've done here it's not easy to get them back into shape also depending on the meals that you feed them they can grow fatty deposits and they'll, the fatty deposits on boas will end up looking like for a lack of words and for a lack of knowing how to explain it it looked like a bunch of little speed bumps along the sides so your boa might be squared off like baby doll here but so she or he will have speed bumps along the side and that shows that your bow is possibly on the way to becoming overweight overweight boas are no good because it leads to a bunch of different health problems so yeah in conclusion to wrap up this video this is baby doll pantera aka baby doll so, all in all, this video is just to say, 
careful how you feed your boas. You do not want your boas or any of your pets to become overweight. Once they become overweight, it's not easy to get them to shed that weight off. And this is the body shape a healthy boa should have no matter what stage of its life it is. Very squared off, as you can see. Muscular. Let me see if I could get her to flip around. Very muscular along the sides. You don't see no bumps indicating fatty deposits. And as long as you don't get your boa overweight, she should she or he should be great. An overweight pet is definitely not what you want because it can lead to many different health concerns. So this is Tycho, he's our ball python. He's a black pastel fire and do you guys see how he's much rounder, see? And he's not overweight. And the way you can tell if a ball python is becoming overweight is right here on the tail end side, it would be, there'd be a lump right before the tail. And you also definitely don't want your ball pythons overweight. And that's how I was told and how we were taught to look out for an overweight ball python. So as you can see, he is a much different body shape, very round. He is roughly about 300 grams, I believe. He is also an October hatched ball python from a complete different breeder. And I'll pull another one out to give you guys an idea. This right here is Bones. Bones is a cinnamon lesser. He is also an October hatched baby. And as you guys can see, the body shape is completely different from the boa. You don't want your boa looking like this. You don't want that. That is signs that your boa is on the route of becoming an overweight boa and leading to health problems. It could have heart conditions besides the overweightness, you know? And that would be a pretty, pretty penny in order to take to the vet and take care of all these health conditions that can arise from your boa being overweight. smaller one but with the same same idea this right here is Nagin also known as Nagon he is a cinnamon I believe it's cinnamon black pastel I gotta double check that but as you can see the body shape he's also hatched in October as you can see, the body shape is already starting to have that rounder shape. You don't want your boa looking like that. But for a bull python, it is fine. As you can see by the tail, it does not round off right before the tail touch. This right here is okay for a bull python. Not for your boas. No matter what, you do not want them starting to get this round shape that you see here. Also, with your boa pythons and your boas, no matter what pet you have, they can all be hatched on the exact same date, laid on the same date, but they will all have different growth spurs and growth cycles. All the boa pythons that I've showed you were all hatched around the same date, but they were definitely all from the same month. And as you can see, all different sizes, but all healthy. Yes.